Let this maniac out. Come on. I don't know what I was thinking about getting a dog. Don't like stinking smells. I don't, I'm like really anal about smells. So I can't have nothing stink around me. It can't stink at all. I don't like dog smell. I don't like dog doo-doo smell. I don't like pee smell. I just pet peeve, I guess. But I guess everybody don't like pee smell and doo-doo smell. But. I don't like it to the point where I would give the dog away. So that's why I had to transfer her to the garage and put her a fence up because she was, I was trying to let her stay in the house, but she keep peeing on the rug, man. They're like, oh, you got a trainer, man. Listen. I want her to be wild. So if somebody run up on my spot, she gonna go crazy on them. I don't want her to be trained. I want her to be a wild animal. <laughs> Nah, I'm a uh, trainer to basic stuff. The home, like the car train. She got to be able to get in the car. Don't be acting all crazy in the car. Um, don't pee in the house, in the in the leash, stuff like that. That's the basics. But I'm excited because we're going we going to um, breed her. So we're going to be having a lot of these little red Dobermans. That y'all can um, access if y'all interested when the time come. My little cousin got one. He got a boy. But he the one hit me to it. Like the whole dog as a as a dog. He was just telling me how smart they was, how loyal and protective they are, and um, kid friendly and stuff like that. Dobermans are amazing dogs. I didn't know how smart they get they say they can get up to they they intellect is about the at the level of a three-year-old child so that's insane for real because because i got a three-year-old granddaughter and she be talking so if he start talking <laughs> the way she talk i'm just joking but she do be trying to say stuff but how y'all doing this morning how can i help y'all <clears throat> i was about to go on at seven but i figured y'all <clears throat> nobody would be up <clears throat> or at least wanting to hear my mouth. How y'all making out? How can I help y'all this morning? Um, I've been, um, I'm headed to see some family up in Ohio. So if y'all want to tap in while I'm up there, just shoot, just send me a shout. And um, I'm going to be in Minner. Minner is right outside of Painesville. I think, I don't know the county. But uh, it's called Minner on the Lake. So we're going to be up there for the weekend up in Ohio. I got to go check on the bros and a couple, couple of things that we're doing. We're looking at a 46-unit apartment building in, um, on the um, East Cleveland. It's like the hood hood. But we're thinking about doing a, um, a center for dudes coming home from the, from the Hooskow. You know, we want to get them, have them somewhere for them to go. Because brothers don't be having, can't get no apartments. And, like, <clears throat> housing, being, like, not having nowhere to live and have to depend on other people, like, good women, um, family members when you come home. That's, like, a bad start because, for one, you need somewhere that we, you can adjust to, you know, back to normal society. And then, also... You need resources, man, and the support system. You know what I mean? Like we, I recidivized, I, re, I recidivized multiple times. Like I've been in and out of prison, so um, I know what you need. I know what it takes to stay out. And um, you know, and I started going in juvie. You know what I mean? I started, I started doing time when I was like third, like eleven. When I started going to jail, so I've been, I'm used to living in a ten by four box, but. Um, I can't, I can't save this video, but, uh, but, um, so we going up there to, to, to put together a build, well, to look at a, a property, it's a 46 unit, 
it's, it's run down. They say it's on stud, so we got to rehab the whole thing. But Brothers is, um, it's not a business play. It's more, it's a non-profit. We're going to be going after grants and stuff like that. We're not, there's not no investment deal or nothing like that. This is street philanthropic, you know what I mean? The dudes just trying to give back to the community the best way they know how in the most productive way. Like, we're not into passing out turkeys and book bags and food drives. Like, that's cool. But I, we don't feel, I don't feel like that's, like, effective. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Giving kids school books. I mean, even books ain't. I mean, books is dope, but I feel like there has to be a systematic program in place to help people. So I don't like doing one-off uh, charities. Like, I ain't just going to give you no money. I'm not going to do that. We'll put you in a position to uh, teach you how to make money. We'll teach you how to fish. But we ain't giving you no, um, we ain't giving you no fish out of our freezer. But we'll teach you how to fish, give you a pole and anything. But we just not gonna feed you. We gonna teach you how to eat. He teach you how to hunt. So that's what we gonna do. That's what I'm gonna look up, look at. That's the main reason for me to go to Ohio this weekend, because um, the brother want to look at a property for for a, a, a reentry um, facility. Because it's probably none in Cleveland. In Cleveland, I mean, just like any other urban major city, it's a lot of brothers who come home and don't have nowhere to go. And they be having pride because they be men, regardless of how y'all look at them and how how the society look. I ain't going to say y'all, but how society look at them, they still men, and they need to stand on their own too. And they don't have no problem uh, putting no work in, so it's just got to be a... a, a, a a system in place, or programs in place where they can use their skill sets in the way to keep them out of the system. And that's it, that's all we gonna show them. We financial literacy, job readiness. We already working with a couple, uh, we got three employers now who gonna hire, who already came on board to hire the people that, that, that we, that we that process through our program. They have to have went through our programming to um, get, get into their, to work the job. We got some twenty hour, twenty twenty dollar hour jobs. We got some eighteen dollar, eighteen an hour jobs. The crazy part about it is that we are having a hard time finding brothers who want to work. And I don't know if that's got something to do with the stimulus money. That's that's the mindset. But I'm like, man, if I just came home and somebody said I could get twenty dollars an hour, all I gotta do is sign up and and, and do some work, and, and come to work. It's four hundred one k, it's insurance, all that. Health insurance brothers don't be having them opportunities, and if they start you off at twenty, obviously it's some it's a it's some it's some room. It's probably some growth potential. So we getting we working with brothers on on, on that note, and um, I mean we working we working with some programming trying to get some get brothers situated on that note, and we we kind of straying away because we were like oh we need to, these brothers need they hustlers they need to come home and be entrepreneurs. Nah, that's not the that's not the that's not the play. The play is to come home and get 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 build a foundation, get stable. And you're not gonna get stable jumping out here trying to start a business when you just came home from the joint, unless you come home to a serious bag. And most brothers ain't. No matter how much they cap in the joint, they come home, they be broke. I came home, I was broke. So, um, especially if you do enough time, you all, whatever money you had, you you gonna burn through it. Um, why you in there? So. <clears throat> We going, I'm going up here to do that. I'll go live when we get to the building. Y'all can see it's 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 a it's it's run down. It's in the it's in the hood. So like we go we in the trenches. So we got we got homies in the trenches who uh who want to get down with it. So that's what we doing this weekend. We going to look at the the facility. Uh, we going it's going to be sponsored by the Starts Within organization, a, a nonprofit organization that I that I'm part of, and um, I'm on the um, board that uh we're gonna look at this property and, and, and think about how we can um put, put brothers in place it's a 42 unit apartment building so we're thinking about taking like the first couple floors either the first floors or the top floor i like the idea of being like a, like on the penthouse floors and to putting the offices up there for brothers can come up there and get like you know everything they need whether it's drug addiction counseling mental health counseling um financial literacy you know, credit repair, uh, entrepreneurial uh, training, behavior therapy, you know, cognitive behavior therapy so brothers can start working on they, how they deal with problems, communication classes and stuff like that. 
all relevant stuff, not just fluff. And this ain't like I said, it's not no business play for none of us. We going, we we doing this. We going to raise money. We going for grants, and um, we going we taking donations. We ain't taking them yet, but we going to put a. Uh, we're going to put a. Go fund me up if we if it's a go if we like the property and we want to get go crazy with it. We're gonna use the GoFundMe so y'all gonna be able to donate. And then obviously when you donate, it's just not gonna be we get, we gonna make sure you get shirts, books. You know, if you donate enough, your name will be on the building. We gonna have a wall of donors. You see what I'm saying? So it's gonna be official. Like we know what we doing. Uh, we we got some solid people on our team. You know who who like professional uh, grant writers and um, nonprofit people who've been in nonprofits. For up, you know, 20, 30 years, you know, we got some, um, a Harvard lady, she went to Harvard, and she focused, she's a doctor, and she focuses on, um, something in non-profit, I think maybe the financing or something, but she's on the board, so we got a strong team, so once we get up here, and, and if we like this building, we can, we gonna go crazy with it, because <clears throat> the time is now, like, we done, we out of the talking phase, we out, we, we out of the intellectual phase, the analytical phase we done thinking about shit we don't we just act on instinct at this point so um every move every time we wake up we trying to make change the world like in a real way in our community like we trying to change our community every day so um i'm on my way up there i'll uh, be up there till about monday my grandmother one my cousin's grandmother had passed so we got a funeral on monday and that's my home church is in Ohio too, so I'm a, they finally back in the building. So I'm gonna be a pop up on them. My, my my church family they gonna be excited. Dude. Everybody gonna be excited because they this is probably gonna be the second Sunday in the actual building. Everybody vaccinated for the most part, so it's good stuff, and we excited. And uh, that's what we working on. Nobody's really tapping in this morning. Maybe it's too early. Maybe it's Friday. Nobody want to hear my mess. So I'm gonna hop up, hop, hop up off of here. Hopefully, uh, hopefully you guys have a great weekend. You know, Max, do the best you can with it. Get the most out of it. Give as much as you can. Help as much as you can. And even if your help is just a smile to somebody who who who, who may be looking stressed out at the gas station. Every little, every inch counts. So, um, take care. Have a have a good day, and um, I'll be checking in. I'll probably check in once I get once I once I touch down in Ohio. If we go to the building, it depends on what time we get there. Well, depending on whether I get to the building or not. But um, that's what we're doing, man. Peace.